up you guys we are just going to go ahead and get right into this video as you can tell by the title of the video it's going to be sort of like a very interesting life update um so i am pregnant yes i am pregnant um so by the time you see this video i am going to be 12 weeks pregnant so almost out of my first trimester and yes i am super excited i thought i would just go through a little bit of backstory of how i found out how everyone responded unfortunately i was not vlogging or filming at this time so i did not get other people's reactions but i can kind of tell you um what everyone's reactions were how the pregnancy is going and things like that um so yes let's get right into it so i found out i was pregnant um back in january so i was supposed to start a period um i want to say like the second to last week in january and i was supposed to start it on that monday and that monday had came and went and um i was like all right it's only been a day so not that big of a deal and then tuesday came and i was at work and i still hadn't gotten my period and for the past couple of months to a year almost my period has been consistent it's never been late even though i'm not on birth control anymore um so tuesday came and i was like okay i don't think i'm pregnant i don't know oh i just found out that my dog was really sick um if you've watched my videos for a while you know that i had a pit bull named gracie um and we ended up having to put her down a um couple of days after this so i was i just found out that she wasn't doing well and that we would have to put her down so i was like i'm just stressed out emotionally i'm all over the place so maybe that's why my period is late um but i was like i'll just take a pregnancy test for shits and giggles um so i took a pregnancy test and the second line came up immediately and i was like oh okay um so initially i was a little bit in shock because i was like is this really happening right now so i texted aaron which is my fiance and i was like hey i'm pregnant sent him the picture of the pregnancy test he was excited he was happy he's like all right well you know it's time to just do whatever needs to be done to you know get prepared to welcome a baby into this world um i told my brother next and um i told a few friends and then i told my mom last because i knew she was going to be accepting i wasn't genuinely worried about her reaction but there's always like this running joke that if i was to get pregnant that she would like kick me downstairs and it's not serious but um when i texted my brother he's like oh it's time to buy your plane ticket to the bermuda triangle my mom's gonna kill you and so i texted her and she ended up being asleep and she texted me back in the next morning and she was like wait are you serious and i was like yeah so i sent her the pregnancy test um and she was like okay well you need to make doctor's appointments and whatever like you know you need to be on it um and then i told my dad and my grandma next and so after that everyone aaron kind of started telling his family so everyone started finding out after that when i found out i was four weeks pregnant so i was very early on in my pregnancy um when we found out and so yes i have had two appointments so far and technically i am a high risk so my pregnancy is high risk for two reasons so the first reason i will insert a picture so you guys have an idea of you know what i'm talking about i have a bicorneated uterus So my uterus is not, you know, whole, if that makes sense. Again, I'll insert a picture. So what I'm saying makes sense. So my uterus is like heart shaped, essentially. Um, and I kind of had an idea of this because I had an ultrasound 
back when I was in undergrad when I was having some issues with like my depot shot and they found it um but my OBGYN was like you know we wouldn't really know this until you got pregnant to see if the baby was sitting on one side or the other now that I'm pregnant got the ultrasound it did confirm that the um that my uterus is bicorneated so realistically speaking the baby sits in the the middle of a normal uterus whereas in my uterus again it's heart shaped so the baby is sitting on this left side um and sometimes there can be like a wall in between the uterus so it's like two horns um so there could potentially be complications uh so one of the complications is there really isn't much room for the baby to grow potentially so when i go in to have my um anatomy scan done they are going to make sure that baby is measuring as they should and um the second one is again because of there not being a lot of room it is possible for baby to be breached so that are those are all complications that you know there's really nothing they can do about that right now um that's more so something that i have to be you know 30 32 weeks for them to really determine what they're going to do about it so those are also potential complications. Those are not guarantees. My OB is like, you know, sometimes people who have bicorneated uteruses, um, or I hope that's the plural of that word, but whatever, um, they don't have any complications, you know, whatever. Sometimes they do. You never really know, um, but I am considered uh, high risk because of that. I am also considered high risk. So you guys know I have been diagnosed with Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disorder that affects the thyroid. And one of the reasons why I unfortunately stopped vlogging was I found out a few days after Christmas that I do actually have thyroid cancer. Um, so I've had issues with my thyroid uh, for a couple of years now. I've talked about it on my channel and kind of how it affected me and the symptoms and whatnot. So I got um, a biopsy done because I went to my primary, he found another nodule and he was like, okay, one is normal considering that I have Hashimoto's, two, you know, he wanted me to get another ultrasound just to double check, got the uh, ultrasound done and the second nodule was significantly bigger than the first. He had me go in to get a biopsy which then confirmed that it was in fact thyroid cancer um so interestingly enough uh before i found out i was pregnant i actually had the schedule um or the surgery schedule to have a complete thyroidectomy they were going to remove my um entire thyroid and i had to postpone the surgery because it is not a surgery that i can get while i am pregnant um thyroid cancer is a very slow growing cancer i was only in stage one so they really weren't worried about it as much um but i again i have to wait and it is something that makes me high risk because i technically do have cancer um so that is the other factor that makes me high risk i do have to go in and see my surgeon in a few weeks and i do have a high risk doctor so by the time you guys or the day this video is actually going up i will have an appointment for the high risk doctor it'll be my first appointment and i will be vlogging that so you guys will get a sense of um what goes on at a high risk doctor doctor and then i also see my just regular ob doctor i see him once a month um so yes those are the two reasons that i am high risk um so because of my thyroid and everything that was going on, I did gain weight and that also put me at risk for gestational diabetes um, and preeclampsia, high blood pressure while I'm pregnant. So I do have to have all of those tests done early just to make sure because I am high risk. So I have a lot going on. Um, so that is what I have going on. We actually did get a blood test done to determine um, genetic abnormalities and any type of um, abnormalities that may occur and also we found out the sex so according to the blood test i am having a boy and we are super excited of course my doctor wants to confirm with the anatomy scan in a few weeks but the preliminary test is we are having a boy based on the blood test so we are super excited we have a name picked out already um 
so yes um some issues i guess i'll go into so again if you're new here i have adhd um i am medicated for my adhd so i take adderall and since finding out that i have been pregnant i have been unable to take my medication um so i have been dealing with unmedicated adhd for the past nine weeks now um it's really been a struggle i've been not doing the best school has been hard work has been hard everyday life has been hard so when i meet with the high risk doctor there is the chance that i will be able to return back to my adderall um the scientific studies doesn't really show consistency in terms of the effects of adderall on the unborn baby so that's something that i may get to continue or may get to restart um initially when i found out i was pregnant i stopped taking all of my medication so i'm also on gabapentin for sleep and anxiety which is something that goes along with my adhd um because normally once my medication starts wearing off the anxiety starts kicking in the bracing thoughts or whatever um so i have gabapentin at night which i would take for sleep and for anxiety i stopped taking that when i met with my ob for my first prenatal appointment, I did get the okay to take that because it's only once a day or once a night and it's a it's a lower dosage. Um, so that is shown to be relatively safe as well. Um, the only medication I cannot take, like I have to stop taking until I give birth is my migraine medication. So I take amitriptyline, which if you know anything about um, psych meds, it is a tricyclic antidepressant. Um, and tricyclic antidepressants have horrible side effects. So they're not even good really in humans. Um, even though I'm on a low dose to help prevent migraines, it, if it's not really safe in adults, it probably is not going to be safe for a baby. So that is one medication that I have to cease taking until I give birth. Um, they're going to try to see if there's another migraine medication they can put me on to prevent my migraines. But the medication that I do take that gets rid of my migraines is safe so I can still take that it's the prevention of the migraines that they really want to focus on right now since I can no longer take the amitriptyline. In terms of the symptoms that I've been having outside of like your normal like breast tenderness things like that um, I have experienced morning sickness it hasn't been horrible so normally when I wake up in the morning, the first couple of hours that I'm awake, I can't eat or I'm very nauseous. Um, and I have only vomited a couple of times TMI, but other than that, once 12, one o'clock hits, I can normally eat and I kind of have to make up for it, which sucks, but um, I can keep fluids down, which is really good. Um, my doctor gave me medication for the nausea just so that I am able to eat because I am missing out on those nutrients in the morning and it's really important that I get those as well. Um, constipation, <laughs> again, TMI, it's one of those things that I was struggling with and um, it's gotten a little bit better now that I'm almost out of my first trimester. Um, fatigue, I am exhausted, which is another reason why um, I haven't really been filming or doing anything with YouTube because I've been exhausted from my thyroid, from being pregnant, from just work and all of this stuff compiled together. So my body has been tired. I've been sleeping a lot and just trying to get as much rest as I can. So um, fatigue is one of the biggest symptoms I've been experiencing. Um, Outside of that, I've honestly been okay. Um, I've had some very weird cravings in terms of food. Um, I do have cravings throughout the day. Um, a lot of times, if I don't eat what I'm craving, I do get sick. But for the most part, I eat. I try to eat what I'm craving uh, so that I don't get sick. But I've had some really weird cravings to where I was like, I probably shouldn't eat that no matter what. Um, I'll tell you, one of them was uh, birthday cake ice cream and mac and cheese mixed together. And it, it does sound disgusting for whatever reason. That's what my son wanted. I did not eat that because I was like, if I eat it, 
I think I would probably get sick regardless, even though this is what I'm craving. So I didn't eat that. I um I passed on that opportunity and ate something else. But uh yeah, that is one of the weird cravings that I've had. Um I have not developed pica yet, so uh the craving for non-food items. I haven't developed pica, thankfully, so hopefully that continues. Outside of that, and the like the fatigue and just the overall general like back pains and frequent urination or whatever um i feel pretty i feel pretty good um like today i've had a lot of motivation and a lot of energy so i've been able to get some stuff done granted i might crash later but that's okay so uh this my my son has also turned me into a morning person if you know me i was never a morning person and now i have been waking up at about between 6 30 to 8 o'clock every morning and before being pregnant that was not something that i would do i love my sleep i love sleeping in um however i can't stay up anymore so that's probably why i can get up earlier is because i can't stay up how i used to so um there's that so right now my tentative due date is September 26th. That's when we are going to be expecting um, baby boy's arrival into the world. We are very excited. We cannot wait for him to join us. And right now we are planning on moving and just getting the nursery set up. So um, there's definitely going to be some different vlogs surrounding the pregnancy coming and um, I am starting to develop my birth plan and I'm probably going to hire a doula so a support person I have already had an interview with one she sent me over like her pricing and contracts and whatnot so we're probably going to get that contract signed and paid for once we get moved and get settled into our new place um so yes that's very exciting and we're just preparing for like the baby shower and all of the appointments i've gotten a few prenatal massages so i'm trying to go at least once a month and they've been great they've done wonders on my lower back pain because my back is on fire um and then lastly the one symptom that i forgot about is bladder spasms i have been having horrendous bladder spasms and they aren't like very frequent i got them i want to say in the very beginning so around four to five weeks and i've been experiencing like the past two days um and they are horrible they hurt and then they go away and i'm just like oh my gosh i i just cannot wait um so yes i am super excited aaron is super excited my family is really excited um for this new journey and i'm very excited to bring you guys along with me i feel like if you've been with me for a very long time you have watched me grow from undergrad to master's program to new job doctorate program and now having a baby so it's been an amazing journey sharing my life with you guys and i cannot wait to continue sharing it and showing you guys my little baby boy and how we decorate the nursery and all of that so yes that is essentially a life update uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and i will catch you guys in my next video